1995, DARPA was in need of a low-cost and expendable air launch craft for use in the suppression of enemy air defenses. Therefore, it initiated the Miniature Air Launch Decoy, or MALD program, a small but mighty programmable aircraft that possessed a truly unique ability, the power to mimic the appearance of United States or Allied aircraft, leaving enemy integrated air defense systems bewildered and confounded. Creating a diversion and attracting the attention of air defenses would allow other aircraft to locate and attack or fly through otherwise impenetrable air defenses. And so, the decoy missile would devise the most advanced enemy integrated air defense systems. At roughly 300 pounds and with a range of 500 nautical miles, the MAL decoy set a milestone in the history of warfare, especially after its unexpected appearance in the midst of the Ukrainian conflict, roughly three decades later. Doppelganger. The inspiration for the MALD came from the lessons learned during the Gulf War, particularly the desperate need to penetrate robust radar-guided anti-aircraft defenses while keeping pilots and aircraft out of harm's way. Simply put, the programmable weapon duplicates the combat flight profiles and signatures of U.S. and Allied aircraft. In 1996, Teledyne Ryan, later acquired by Northrop Grumman, was awarded the contract to develop the ADM-160A. The missile's first test flight took place in 1999, but this early model encountered its fair share of challenges, both in terms of budgetary constraints and technical limitations. Its range was limited, and it lacked the necessary transmission capacity to fulfill its potential. But soon, the U.S. Air Force rekindled its interest in an air launch decoy and launched a competition for an improved version. Raytheon won the contract in 2003, and determined to overcome the initial obstacles, the engineers and designers embarked on a journey of innovation. In 2009, this culminated in the unveiling of the more advanced ADM-160B MALD. This new variant featured renewed capabilities for the battlefield of the new millennium, such as a larger size, a more powerful engine, and enhanced performance. Although the Air Force received a significant quantity by 2010, it planned to procure around 1,500 units. Stand-in Jammer The upgraded version boasted significant improvements in both range and transmission. But what truly set the ADM-160B apart was its revolutionary Signature Augmentation Subsystem, or SAS. With the help of active radar enhancers, this system allowed the MALD to replicate the radar signature of various aircraft, effectively deceiving defensive systems. By doing so, it rendered enemy anti-aircraft batteries vulnerable as they struggled to identify and counter the perceived threat. In the chaos and confusion, anti-radiation missiles such as the American AGM-88 Harm and the British Alarm Missile could strike their targets with devastating precision. Yet, the game was about to change forever. In 2016, a new hero emerged on the scene, the ADM-160C, also known as MALJ. Recognizing the importance of electronic warfare, Raytheon also developed a jamming variant and introduced something truly groundbreaking, the addition of real electronic warfare capabilities to the signature augmentation subsystem. This innovation upgrade transformed the 160C into the world's first stand-in jammer to enter production. The MAL-J underwent testing and operational flights, with the initial delivery to the Air Force in 2012. The MAL-J successfully completed operational testing in 2015, becoming a vital asset in countering enemy air defense. Integration With its newfound electronic warfare prowess, the MAL-J became an even more formidable force on the battlefield. Equipped with a modular electronic warfare capability known as Cerberus, it could unleash a range of interchangeable payloads. This flexibility allowed the MAL-J to operate independently or in pairs, flying closer to its targets and lingering in the target area, ensuring the completion of its missions. Besides, Raytheon explored the integration of the MALD and MALJ with other unmanned aerial vehicles, such as the MQ-9 Reaper and MQ-1 Predator. They conducted ground verification tests to assess compatibility. Raytheon achieved the successful completion of a four-year development program for the MALD in 2013, 
and the Air Force cleared the export of the MAL B variant. The MAL program achieved a flawless record of successful flight tests, and the MAL J demonstrated expanding situational awareness capabilities. In 2015, Raytheon announced the development of a new composite missile body for the MAL J, reducing production costs by 25%. The MAL and MAL J programs have proven their effectiveness through extensive testing, becoming essential assets in modern military operations to protect friendly forces and disrupt enemy air defenses. As time passed, newer versions of the MALD continued to emerge. The MALD X arrived, further enhancing the already impressive capabilities of its predecessors. Additionally, a specialized version, tailored to the operational requirements of the United States Navy, known as the MALD N, was also under development. Intricacies of Modern Warfare In May 2023, a startling discovery was made in the war-torn region of Luhansk, Ukraine. Following a Ukrainian strike against a Russian target in the occupied city, the remains of an ADM-160 MALD were retrieved. Notably, a label on the side of the wreckage indicated that it was an ADM-160B model, adding intrigue to the situation. On May 12th, as news spread like wildfire across social media platforms, the world caught a glimpse of the wreckage. The revelation of this find, if proven authentic, cast a shadow of doubt on the ongoing conflict, and raised questions about the role of this so-called almost weapon. The ADM-160B was highly valued for its cost-effective ability to secure airspace. It was typically launched from aircraft such as the F-16 or the B-52H, and plans were underway to integrate it into the B-1B fleet. Still, there's no clue as to who exactly deployed the decoy missile in the Ukrainian conflict. As of 2022, the Ukrainian Air Force had successfully integrated the AGM-88 Harm into its fleet of MiG-29 aircraft. Considering this, it is plausible to assume that the secretive process of integrating the ADM-160B took place alongside it. The abundance of the earlier version of the MALD and the complexities associated with the newer variants may have influenced the decision to incorporate the ADM-160B model into the Ukrainian arsenal discreetly. The alleged use of the ADM-160B in Ukraine has raised numerous unanswered questions. Yet, regardless of the circumstances surrounding its deployment, the potential of the MALD as a powerful tool that hovers on the edge of being classified as a weapon is undeniably clear. Its utilization can provide a significant advantage to the operator, proving its worth in the intricate dynamics of modern warfare. A Clever Ruse Whenever operators deploy a formation of MAL decoys into hostile airspace, they fly a pre-programmed mission. Thus, the flexible modular system manages to baffle the enemy and confuse its integrated air defense systems to protect friendly forces. In a daring move to outwit Russian air defenses, Ukraine seems to have deployed a clever tactic that left the enemy bewildered. These images painted a compelling narrative of Ukraine's strategy paving the way for a subsequent aerial assault by disorienting the enemy's air defenses. But the decoy's purpose extended beyond mere confusion. By provoking enemy air defenses, it aimed to trigger their activation, coaxing them into firing and inadvertently revealing their positions. In doing so, Ukraine sought to exhaust the enemy's defense systems, depleting their resources and opening up opportunities for the real jets that lay in wait. Only then would the confrontation begin, with precision-guided munitions raining down upon the unsuspecting adversaries. Embark on an extraordinary voyage into the realm of dark tech, and prepare to be captivated. We couldn't be more thrilled to have you join us. Show your enthusiasm by giving us a thumbs up. And while you're here, make sure to subscribe to our channel and explore other intriguing Dark Documentaries channels. Thank you for watching.